Hey guys, now it's time to continue our discussion about collections and in this video we're going to see what are maps. So let's open IntelliJ ID. So maps are collections which can store key value pairs. And to declare a map we simply type here map. We need to specify in angle brackets the key which is going to be an integer in our case and a string for the value. It's going to be called persons and it's going to be equal to a new hash map, an actual implementation. So let's import the map and let's put here new hash map, semicolon. Now to add elements to our map, we simply type persons dot put and here we have the key and the value. So I'm going to put one and for the value, let's say Maria, semicolon, let's press control D a few times. Let's close this and uh, let's put a different key because you can't have duplicate keys in a map. So let's put here Ioana, John, Alex. Now if I want to get one element from here, I'm going to type SLT to output in the console and I'll type persons dot get, let's say four. So we pass the key of the value that we want to get. So if you run this, we get Alex. But if I change this to one, and if I run it, we get Maria. All right, let's say that I want to loop to our map. How can you do that? But first let me show you if I put another key here with the same value. If you have the same key, it says navigate to, it says duplicate map key and you can't have duplicate keys. So let's delete this. Now to loop through our uh, map, we simply type here for string, actually for integer key. And there is a method to get all the keys in our map. So I'm going to type here persons that and going to get the key set. And the, uh, down here I'll type SOT persons dot get and gonna pass the key. So now if you run this, get Maria, Joanna, John and Alex. So you get the values for those uh, corresponding keys that we have here. So this is how you can use a map. All right. Another thing that you can do is you can check the presence of a key in the map. So you can type here if persons that contains key, let's say seven or let's put SOT there is a key else also SOT there is not such a key so let's run this. We get there is not such a key. So this key is not present. But if I put here uh, four, which is a key that is present, we get there is a key. So I'm going to end this video here and see you in the next video.